Are you ready for Tom's walk? <laughs> so, before we begin this page, I'd like to go over your phonogram sounds. All the ones we've learned so far, the multi-letter digraphs, um, all the ones we've learned so far so that when we see them in the story, we'll automatically underline them without even having to think, did we learn that one yet? Maybe that's just me. But it's always good to practice these sounds. You should be practicing them every day. Um, <clears throat> so our first sound, A, two letter A that we may not use at the end of English words. Why? Because English words do not end with I, U, V, or J. A, two letter A that we may use at the end of English words. Ooh, fruit soup. We had a lot of those yesterday. E, E, A. Eat, bread, break. Or, as in four. Shh, the baby's sleeping. Er, as in her, spelling word. Ow, o, u, a. Round, soul, you, country. Like in our spelling word, you. E, double, e. Always says, u, u, o. Food or boot took floor. Ah, or sorry, oi that we may use at the end of English words. Oi that we may not use at the end of English words. Why? Because English words. <coughs> Do not end with I, U, V, or J. Ow, O, oh, how, low. Always good to review the vowels. Ah, O, oh, U. Remember big mouth? Ah, O, oh, U. First sound, ah, most common sound. My coffee one. I, I. I, I. A, A, A. A, A. Ah. Eh, e. Eh, e. Uh, you, uh. Uh, you, uh. Good, we're ready for them. Take a look at Tom's walk. You'll need your pencil and a color pencil. Pencil, color pencil. And we'll start by reading our vocabulary. So we have walk. So walk kind of has a little silent L in there, um, a silent L in there, because we don't really say walk. When we say it quickly, it sounds like walk. But walk, that's walk. Sister. Ooh, what do you see at the end of sister? Er, as in her. Sister. Woods. Ooh, uh, oh. Woods. The woods. T I'm time. And finally, ohm, home. Ah. So based on these vocabulary words, I have a feeling I know what Tom's walk will be about. We have walk, sister, woods, time, home. We have some places, some people, some actions, some things. Hmm. It's going to be good. Okay, so every time we see a vocabulary word in here, we'll circle it with our red. If you see a phonogram sound, underline it with your pencil. Ready? Go. Tom's walk. Walk. One day, ooh, A, two letter A, that we may use at the end of English words. One day, Tom went for, or, a walk, vocabulary word, One day, Tom went for a walk 
with, see that th at the end of with, with his sister, we have er as in her, and vocabulary word, One day, Tom went for a walk with his sister, Tina. They, we have the second sound of th, that's the vibrating sound of they, walked into the woods. Vocabulary word and ooh, uh. Oh, woods. They walked into the woods. You'd notice the word walk in walked. Adding the ed on walk makes it past tense. So I'm going to circle the word walk here because walk, this is your base word. We haven't really talked about this yet because we haven't learned the ed ending. But this is a good little sneak peek. You have a base word and then you add ed on the end to make it that it happened in the past. They walked into the woods. Let's go this. We have the second sound of th. This way. A two letter a that we may use at the end of English words. Let's go this way. Tina said, aid, a to letter a that we may not use at the end of English words. Aid, said. We pronounce it said, but when you're thinking to spell it, you say said, said. Let's go this way, Tina said. We will get lost, Tom said. Hmm. I know. Ooh, look, ow, oh. I know. <laughs> Tom said, oh, sorry, we will get lost, Tom said. I know the way. So you have the second sound of th. Uh, the way. A to letter A that we may use. Tina said. They, we have the, that vibrating sound of th again, they walked, ooh, walked, has that walk with the ed ending making it in the past, they walked for, or as in for, they walked for a long time, time, time. Circle the word time. <clears throat> we, I love this, I love these spelling words I keep seeing. We are lost, Tina said. Notice the exclamation point on the end. She's exclaiming it. We are lost, Tina said. Underline that A, letter A. I know, ow, oh, no, I know the way home, look, home, vocabulary word, I know the way home. Said Tom. The word said is in here a lot because there's a lot of dialogue in here, a lot of talking. When characters are talking, we have these two little hooks in the air called, parent, uh, called quotation marks. And then we always will either say said or replied or exclaimed, some other kind of word, but said is the most common. So now we're going to do a reread. And I think I missed a 
a marking up there, so I might mark it when we get to it. So let's read. Tom's walk. One day, Tom went for a walk with his sister, Tina. They walked into the woods. Let's go this way, Tina said. We will get lost, Tom said. I know the way, Tina said. They walked for a long time. We are lost, Tina said. I know the way home, said Tom. Let's look at these questions. Who was Tom with? Was he with A, his sister? Yeah, he was with his sister. What was his sister's name again? Tina, right? He was with his sister, Tina. Let's make sure that none of these others are the answer. His mom? No. His friend? No. He was with his sister. Number two. Where did they walk? They walk A, at the beach? No. B, park? No. C, woods. Yeah. They walked at the woods. In the woods. Number three. We have our blank in the beginning. It's either going to be Tom or Tina. Blank knew the way home in the beginning. Oh, who knew the way home in the beginning of the story? Let's take a look. One day, Tom went for a walk with his sister, Tina. They walked into the woods. Let's go this way, Tina said. We will get lost, Tom said. I know the way, Tina said. Ah, so in the beginning of the story, Tina said that she knew the way to get home. Hmm, so Tina knew the way in the beginning. Tom was nervous about getting lost, and Tina said, I know the way. So uppercase T, because it's a name T. Tina is spelled with an I. It almost sounds like it would be an E, because it sounded like T. Tina, but it's an I. Tina knew the way home in the beginning. Number four, is it Tina, Tom or Tina? Blank knew the way home at the end. So who actually knew the way home at the end of the story? Let's continue reading. So in the beginning, Tina said, I know the way, Tina said. They walked for a long time. We are lost, Tina said. I know the way home, said Tom. So who knew the way home at the end of the story? Tom. Circle Tom. T. Um. So Thomas, if you were lost in the woods, would you know the way home? <laughs> Okay, and let's take a look. Number five, remember we'll look back in our story for the answer to this question. What should you do if you get lost? Ah, what should you do if you get lost? Do you think we'll find this answer in the story? Or do you think we have to think in our brains? Is this asking us what we would do? So, hmm... Tom and his sister Tina went for a walk. They talked about the directions of where to go. And, hmm, I don't think we're going to find this answer in the story. I think we have to find this answer in our brains. What should we do if we get lost? Do you think we should talk about how to get back? Do you think maybe you should always walk with a friend in case you don't know where you are, that you have a buddy? Yeah, it's probably safer to always walk with someone. Hmm, what's something else you could do? You could retrace your steps. You could go back where you came from. What do you think? 
You guys can write your own answers to this, whatever you think you should do if you get lost. I'd love to see what your responses are. I think I'm going to say that um, if you get lost, so uppercase I, if, spelling word you, make sure you leave a, a pencil space between each word, if you g e t l I'm just repeating this part if you get lost if you get lost just like in our catechism questions how we repeat part of the question for our answer we always do that in these responses too if you get lost, hmm, what are you going to do? Hmm. Maybe you should talk with your friend that you're with or your sister. Talk with your, your buddy, whoever you're with, and maybe come up with a plan of how to get back. So when I say retrace my steps, I mean go back where I came from and find what's familiar. So those are all good things to do when you get lost. Look for something that you recognize. So if you get lost, comma, retrace, I'm going to write the word retrace. That means go back through and um, go back to the, you know, the where you came from. Go back where you came from. So re, re, A s with a C, silent E. Retrace your, which is the word you with an R on the end. You were. Retrace your steps. E P S Retrace your steps and look for something familiar. So and look for something you recognize. Look for something you know. So I'll try to make it as easy and short as possible. <laughs> if you get lost, retrace your steps and and Look, l, uh, like o, uh, o. Oh. I'm gonna run out of space, so I'm gonna continue down here and continue down here. And if I keep running out of space, I'll go up here. Retrace your steps and look for f or. I'm gonna come back down here. Uh, we're going to write the word something, which is a long word, compound word, some, s um, silent e, some, thing, th, th, i, ng, Something is one word, so no space between some and thing. Something. You. Y. O. U. No. That starts with K N. It's a phonogram sound we haven't learned yet. N. O. Like ow. O. We actually underlined the word no up top. The O and ow. O. Look for something you know. So what should you do if you get lost? If you get lost, retrace your steps and look for something you know. So you can go back where you came from and look for something that you recognize. So 
if you wanted to write this, you could. If you'd like to come up with your own ideas for what you do if you get lost, I'd love to hear them. So this one was a little different. It was a little trickier because it, it, this question forced us to go and think what we would do. Usually it makes a, these questions ask us to go back in the story. But this one was asking us, what would you do if you get lost? So um, good luck. I can't wait to see what you work on.